Hello everybody. Just trying to catch because I forgot to mute my sound on plane. And uh, okay, I know that this is completely <laughs> unscheduled, but because I intend to go in that uh, on that vacation, I just wanted to show you this before that happens because I think it's a really, 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 really neat tool. And what is it? Uh, I just got it in the mail last evening. I didn't manage to get it out of the envelope before about an hour ago. Uh, it is called a rock a roll maker and also a snake maker, textured snake maker set. You can get these uh, plates separately as well. Now, hi Judy, now what I can tell you uh, though, the, um, the main thing that I found as a con is that it does not come with uh, instructions. So essentially all you can do is to go on their website and then search for it because it's not even showing. It used to be showed on the homepage, but it is not showed on the homepage anymore. So I'm going to get the link for you where you can get it. And as I said, you can get uh, different uh, textures as well. But let's open it up and let's see what we can do with it because I can see a ton of things that can be done with it okay so essentially as I said initially I was hoping that there is a set of instructions here but they are just minimal They recommend using uh, water as a release agent. Let me get my readers. To reduce stickiness. Now remember, Cool Tools essentially makes tools directed to PMC, precious metal clay. But because they are all their textures and everything is so fine because it's for uh, jewelry clay uh, it's awesome to use on polymer clay so they say also Vaseline it doesn't work very good on polymer clay talcum does and to use a toothbrush to clean it so these are made out of plastic the only thing that I'm wondering if is the plastic is going to uh, I just posted the link for the video Judy thank you Lisa I hope that the plastic doesn't get uh, messed up by polymer clay they said that this is a set I was wondering if the plates have different sizes at first sight they kind of look no some of them are bigger some of them are smaller looks like these two are smaller this seems to be the wider so essentially how you use it and again I watched their video and I'm going to show you several ideas about it essentially you're supposed to place your They should have some kind of things on the side. Because otherwise I don't know how you can. Hmm. The video shows you to get the... Uh. Okay, I'm kind of confuzzled right now. So again, the video shows that you're supposed to get the I'm following the video okay, let me make it bigger so this goes like this okay so 
they go like this and you're supposed to place it with the lines going this way do they go under I guess they go under here oh yes they have these little notches so you put them in these little notches and you have the bottom and then you place the other one okay I'm trying to figure out how the other one goes. If it goes, which way it goes. Okay, because they say make a make a snake. So let's make a little snake. You know what? I forgot to bring me on. Let me make it with white because it's easier, easier to see on black. And then we'll work on another color to see. So hi Lisa, hi Black Onyx. So let's make a string. I just have some scrappity clay here. And again, that's the, the thing that I don't like is that it doesn't didn't come with any kind of user manual of any kind. So now I would think that if I use this, if I put my so I'm thinking logically now, okay? <laughs> uh if I put this one with the lines in the same position I'm going to get something that's going to be lined up it's not very well okay oh I need to put it through here Oh, I guess that if you put it with the okay this doesn't work all right I got it I finally got it so you can put these on both sides you can put them like this or you can put them like this I went with them like this so in the length of the snake and you're supposed to simply do this and I guess I need to, you need to, probably it takes a little bit of a learning curve. Let's get it with the lines the other way, because I think it's more, by what I saw, it's more, uh, it's more spectacular. Let's get this one. So I'm going to go with these ones also like this. And there we go. Awesome. So I did it. Now let's try with them the other way. Because apparently you can get three different kinds of... Uh, thank you, Carol. Three different kinds of textures. And also depending on the sizes of these plates, they can be larger or smaller. Oh, sorry, I need to put this one here. So let's see in length. Because I wasn't pressing enough. Let's get this in length. So this way. Let me make this a little bit brighter. Because I think it doesn't have enough light. Okay, this can you can see better the lines. Now this is too bright. Mm 
okay this should work so yes it is all their tools are pretty cool and I told you I love the the textures they are my most favorite textures okay now let me remember to press and I remember my my hands don't work that good but I still think it's really neat and now let's do the tentacle because there's a tentacle that they show there's quite a bit of textures that they show here that you can make in different directions and but different so I'm going to try and make this one now and then I'll show you a few um, no I mean no way affiliated with cool tools is just something that someone brought to my attention as in did you see that can we use that There's a, I don't know let me let me order one and we'll see and of course I'll make something later when I get back from my vacation I'll make some stuff with it to show you but you can get some and play with it in the meantime and as I said they have some uh, separate textures hi Santa these are not radiators these are cool tools okay so this time I'm going to use this one here like this and this one here like this so perpendicular one on, on the other um, mind you I didn't use any kind of release right now so I kind of messed it up. I pressed too hard. <laughs> but, okay, I need to figure out how hard I need to press. Okay, that is for sure. Let's go again. Let's try this again. And not press this hard this time. There's only a uh, video, Carol. Okay, so yeah, I kind of did the tentacle thing. I already did. Let me put it again. And uh, it also has a video on how to use it. So, we can do this kind of little snakes, worms, however you want to call them. This kind of bark like texture, if you cannot press evenly, and then this tentacly thing. So, let's see what could we do with them actually if we want to do anything. Okay, so let's make a black one and let me grab one of my waxes real quick. I think that it is fabulous for making gears and other things also I shouldn't have flattened this but you can make if you make it just with the way that they show it if you make it just with the metallic clay you can actually make rings and chain rings hi Susan so let me get this little black thing and then we'll see how it works for uh, bezels <laughs> thank you lisa it would be great to make a uh, little uh, succulents huh miniature succulents would be beautiful I 
okay so let's grab one and see how it would work for let me get this on a vertical thing so again they have these little uh, holes here and then the guides have little pins so I'm gonna put this black here okay let me go again and try to make it brighter because now I'm black on black okay so I have now the lines going that way I'm going to get another one with the lines going that way and I'm going to put it with the lines going the same direction then place the top plate as I said it's probably a little bit of a learning curve to figure out how hard you need to press to get the proper thing so we can do a bezel a very pretty bezel and because it's like this you can continue it because see you can just cut here and then connect it with another one because you cannot make it too long obviously And then if we give it a little bit, yeah, that's the wider one. So if we give it a little bit of metallic on it, it works perfect for metal-like bezels, huh? Beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, the other thing that I would do with them uh, would be in steampunkish stuff. You can put all kinds of almost chain like looking things on top of stuff. You know, like if you make a journal or something and you can make you can um i think that the way that i would go with it and let me show you exactly what i'm talking about let me grab a colored wax but you can do that with that acrylic Okay, I got a violet, but you have all these waxes and you can also use, you know, like acrylics and other other things. So let me make this a little bit thinner than it is. You can make four seed beads. I can very easily see it used as four seed beads. Let me grab this and make a little. <coughs> I'm backing for this. So let's make some beads. It's still too. I don't want to go too small because it would barely leave any uh, texture in it. And as I said, I'm probably not making them perfect. Perfect, I would need to work with them a little bit. Let me get my readers on. 
So if I go one line and then the next line I put it pretty much like an in-between You can make stuff that looms, looks like loomed seed beads. Let's see how that looks like. Maybe I should have gotten a stronger color than purple, but I just love the purple. Hold on, I'll lift it here in a second. I see it looks like beautiful, beautiful. And of course you can make these thinner or thicker. And then as I said, these uh, textures, like you can see this one is wider. And then there's smaller one they are different uh, sizes so whenever you go ahead and do your little textures and another thing that I'm seeing is as I said in sculpture and that would be for miniature plants actually let me do this one with thin thin textures again and for the people who haven't seen it from the beginning I suggest that you do because there's three different patterns that you can get with these with this tool and then you can buy other texture plates separate essentially what you need is the guides and the other the other con that i have with cool tools is that they only ship ups and their shipping is kind of hefty but i hope that they'll have this soon on amazon as well because for now they only have the textures and as i said their textures are my most favorite textures okay i did it awesome Isn't this awesome? It can look like a chain. You can use it if you're doing sculptures and gnomes and little fairies. These can be used beautifully for um, not just the clothing, but also for the uh, elements of armor. Yes, I'm live, Kristen. Hi, Sonia. So, okay, I said plants. So let's see how it would look for plants. I would go by mixing something like this. Hi, Robbie. Something like this, like the olive with some um, translucent. So it would have the nice realistic effect of plants. But I'm really, really enthusiastic about the bezels thing because it looks beautiful. It really looks like metal bezel. <clears throat> I'm going to have to study how to make the... Because see, there's a couple here that are in a diagonal. So I'll have to figure out how to do the diagonal. I wonder if you put this like this, if it works. I'll, I'll, I'll try it. So, I'll do a leaf and a tentacle. Okay, let me first try with the 
diagonal thing so if I put it like this am I going to get a diagonal let's see if it takes the whole thing and it rolls it at the same time as I said the learning curve I should get a diagonal make sure that I'm all the way in okay remember my hands don't always work the best huh. yes I did a diagonal yay these are so neat I'm gonna play with them so much so oh the other thing hold on because I just f figured out something <laughs> sometimes I'm smart not always okay so if I get let me get a little bit of this grayish I have all kinds of bits and pieces of uh, scrap clay because I've been working on stuff but if I get a one of these and then I do the whole thing pressing a little I should get a flatter bezel right instead of a round one so let's see how that works get this here and then do a little bit of pressing no I still made it round I think uh, you can you only need to press press okay Carol uh, I didn't say it's 21 21.95 as I said just be aware that their shipping is not that terrific so as if I order this I also order the textures just to know to pay because it's about if you're the only this is just about five dollars something shipping so let me do the other side to show you how to connect these to do a proper joining let's grab another piece The only thing you'll have to make sure that your uh, your little snakes are the same. So cut this, cut this right at the line, and then place this. Because here, like here, I made my snake was snake was a little bit thicker here. So I guess as long as you're cutting it perfectly where one of the lines go, you should get perfect you should get them perfectly matched without having to worry. And then once you apply the metallic it looks beautiful when I come back from uh, where oh from my vacation yeah hopefully okay now let's try and do the plant thingy and then I'll grab some uh, translucent and do some tentacle thing okay so for the plant thingy I'm gonna go with the lines like this so let me grab one of the wider plates so I'm going to go with the lines 
horizontal on all of them. In order to make succulent leaves, you know, kind of like a vanilla vera. Yes, it slides smoothly. You just have to figure out how much to press on it so you don't squish. Like, see here, I kind of squished it. But I think that if you just squish, then you get a fairly flat bezel. Would still a perfectly textured surface. Okay, so you can make twigs. Let me refocus this so you can see better how the in length works. You can make asparagus, miniature asparagus or succulent or twigs if you make any kind of flowery stuff and I think it would work even for metal very nicely and then you can let's see if I did it like this and now I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it on a diagonally side let's see what we get there's a lot of playing with it Oh, look look what I did it's really really neat you can do a ton of different uh, just by placing the the string on the on the plates differently And of course you can use the extruder, yeah, to to make everything the same size. No, I think it doesn't matter how big it is. Uh, it 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 matters how big it is when you put it there because it's not going to extend. So I think that if you want a perfectly even, you need to use your extruder. What did I do? Yeah, I'm doing good. It's the proper way. So let's do another one of the... I didn't press well enough, but I still got a little bit of a... Let me refocus. I don't know if you can roll more than one at a, one at a time. I'm going to try. Oh, you get little gears. You can get little gears. If one of them is thin and one of them is wider, you can get little gear like. So, again, yay for steampunk stuff. Yeah, I think it's a very, very versatile uh, tool. And I think I personally am going to do a have a lot of fun with it. So this is what you get, uh, you get the ideas from this is the only insert it comes with, but it shows you various, um, and probably, the, as I said, it depends on that, they show you that, you can put in different thicknesses, let me put, actually before I go off, let me put a different thickness in here, to see how it looks, if it's thicker, that would be great for uh, what you call it for plants and stuff so let's do this with the wide one and the top one I'm gonna get a thin one let's see what where we get focus yeah it's a lot of playing with it <laughs> I can tell you that I'm gonna play a lot with this 
to figure out everything that can be done. Huh. Because you can get these more longish, depending on the size of, of the plate that you have on the bottom and on the top. So it's a really neat tool, a cool tool. Okay, so I'm gonna go finish what I'm doing because I'm working on things and I'm cleaning stuff and all that. But yeah, this is the cool tool. The latest cool tools. Cool tool. And uh, I'm not sure you probably should be able to get these separately. This is the set. If you can get the guides separately oh no these are teflon project cards so no it's not these separately oh no it's just the it's just the set directly the set they talk about the teflon making cards i don't know what that is i'll have to check but there's so much stuff that I still have on my private wish list from cool tools that <coughs> yeah I, I rested some yesterday and I am feeling better yesterday I went to my um, spine and pain management doctor and I got uh, shots in my back where I have uh, I told you that when they removed the latissimus dorsi muscles to reconstruct my breasts the muscles that are still left on my back cannot compensate and especially the paraspinatus that's the, the and the, the muscles that go along the spine they really mess up and apparently it was uh, the one on the right was also a little bit knit when they cut the the big muscle so it's somewhere between the shoulder blades and the spine on the right side it feels like I have a grapple hook there and then from time to time somebody comes puts a dagger in and starts twisting and for that I'm getting the uh, sometimes steroids sometimes bot Botox injections and they always work I don't I never know for how long they gonna work or sometimes they work for two weeks sometimes they work for six months and it had stopped working right after I saw my doctor last month so I went yesterday and I got a shot. So yeah, on this thing, it's much uh, better. But uh, don't forget that for textures, I got a whole thing here. Um, and that's the good part because, uh, hold on, I got uh, my tiny. Uh, because you know how, unless you get the really, the cool tools, $19 textures that are big you really have issues for whenever you make necklaces that are longer or when and whenever you make bracelets that are longer but if you look at poly clay play she has these pins and I also have some in my Amazon influencer store and these are really really neat you get uh, as long as you roll it you can get the texture over three feet if you want but uh, let me grab some clay to show you because they are all really uh, neat they don't look like much but you can do a lot of textures with them <laughs> see and they work beautiful It's just to know how how hard to to press. Let's see. And she's got all kinds of tons of them. And you can get them deeper. You can get them more just pretty fine. See, this is a beautiful brocade-like one. I got this a little bit too thin texturizing but this is a beautiful brocade embroidery let me get the sticker and show you a couple more but these uh, the pins are really good for whenever you need longish 
texturized stuff because then you can make your own and there are all kinds of cool textures okay uh, let's get the bubbles I have one with bubbles that's so cool That's good for reptile skin and stuff. And, uh, that's another brocade dish. Hold on, I broke it. Another brocade dish stuff. Or you can get the more geometrical things like the and if you press just make sure that you never press just on the ends or just on the middle because they can break and they are fairly cheap you can get this kind of stuff super expensive from France super awesome I just couldn't afford yet to get any of those but uh, these are relatively cheap the the textured pins so if you need anything for a longer texture invest in a couple of those to have you know for the long run but yeah this is the snake, ma snake maker tool and just wanted to show you how cool it is because I thought it was awesome <laughs> So I shall see you all uh, Saturday morning at 9.30 Central Time. And that would be my last live for two weeks. I'll explain what you're going to watch during those two weeks. Okay? Thank you for being here and I'll see you all Saturday. Goodbye.